Hi, I'm Wim from Monomaker Systems and today I will introduce you to Erimaker. When you buy something new, who wants to read the manual? If you are like me, you just want to take it out of the box and start using it. This guide will take you through the first sequential steps of using Erimaker. After this, you should realize that training and repetitive use is important. Once the program is open, I load an image of the area I want to use from Google Maps. Type in your address to quickly zoom to the right place. Enter to start the search. Satellite view. Zoom into the area you want to use as a background. Select Capture Image. The program will prompt you for the correct central meridian based on the longitude of your area. Then I add some points and get the elevations also from Google Maps. Use the grid in area method and indicate the area with the free snap mode. Watch these videos for more detail on adding points. I add the points on a 20 meter grid interval. The codes are not important now and I update the elevations from Google Maps. I add the blocks as CAD lines, but you could just add the irrigation without this step. Turn off the image to have a clear view of the lines and contours. I go to the irrigation menu. The irrigation works from left to right on the top tabs. Projects refer to one mainline system. When you have a different pump and mainline, you would select a new project here. This can also be used to simulate different irrigation options on the same area. The next tab is project. Give your project a name. The top line will reflect on the previous projects tab. Choose your units to work with. It is important to familiarize yourself with where the database is saved before you start adding any of your own irrigation items, like pipes, sprinklers and fittings. Defaults and checks. Update and then click on the default button. The program will automatically go to the folder where the default irrigation database is saved. Any items you add or parts will be saved in irrigation underscore mm.db in this folder. Next tab is blocks. On the right you will see block 0 is active. This is the main line. I add the block snapping to the endpoints of the CAD lines. I will do it again, this time with the track line option. Select inside, close to a line. You will see now that the block is added. The right hand side shows a block 1. Give the block a name like apple trees and micro. Now we choose what kind of irrigation to add and to start we use micro drip. The selection is on free and select full laterals. Choose a pre-assembled combination from the list or use manual select. Select a sprinkler, in this case a micro. Choose the nozzle and pressure. Select OK. Choose the fitting at the end of the laterals.
You can add or edit the fittings description if you want with the manage models button. I use a figure 8 fitting for the lateral ends. Choose the pipe for the laterals and make sure laterals is selected before you click OK. The lateral pipes display on your cursor. To rotate, press page up and page down or control plus page up and control plus page down. To align with the edge of the closest CAD line, select shift plus tab. If you are satisfied with the direction, click on the screen and it will ask you to confirm. On the next pop-up, you get some of the sequential steps grouped together. If you ignore this, you will still be able to add all the options from the main irrigation screen. I will explain as we go along. First off, the hydraulic neutral position indicates where the best place for the manifold would be on each lateral. I select three diameters using control. If you want to use only one diameter, select only one. Next we add the manifold using the define manifold using cut pipes. Choose the manifold pipe type. Only the pipes in this group will be used when you size the pipes later. Choose a fitting that connects the manifold and the laterals like a grommet. Indicate a line across the laterals close to the neutral marker. Notice the program adds fitting nodes at all the intersection between the laterals and manifold. I connect the other lines that do not cross the laterals with the fine manifold using add lines. Use the same pipes as before. Next I add a valve with define the inlet valve. Indicate the position and connect the valve to the system with the same pipes as before. We already added the nodes like the fittings and valve. We added the pipes for the laterals and manifold. We go to global. If you see a warning, this means all is not connected. Check on the flow path to see where there are connection problems. Proceed to the design and calculate. This is the hydraulic calculation part of the nodes and pipes placed in block one. First off, we size the manifold and lateral pipes. We use 5% pressure variation for both the laterals and the manifold. Choose the number of diameters allowed to use and the maximum flow speed. Select laterals to size the laterals and manifold to size the manifolds. If you go back to the results tab, choose an input pressure at the valve and calculate the flow. The graph will display the hydraulics of both the manifold and laterals. Also see the limits set to a 5% percentage up and down from the average pressure at nodes. Select one of the manifold pipes on the graph and then increase or decrease the pipe size. See how the graph changes based on that change. The info tab gives design information of the active mainline or block. Use the display to indicate selected information on the graphics. The red nodes and pipes are within the parameters of your selection.
close to go back to the global page. Run a report to get the information of the active block. You can save or copy and paste the information to a Word document. Go to the Blocks tab to add a second block. Select Add Block and indicate the area. Press the spacebar and select the track snap mode. The block will be the same as the previous one, but we design it using the sprinkler design. Give the block a name and description. Use the two CAD lines option and select fill laterals. Choose your sprinkler, let us use the same sprinkler and pipe that we used in block 1. You will notice that we do not select a specific diameter at this stage, because the sizing is done under Global, Design and Calculate. Indicate CAD line showing lateral direction. Indicate CAD line showing tree direction. Enter the tree spacing distance, 8 meters, and confirm if you are satisfied with the results. Add the manifold. I add a fitting and then a valve at the side of the irrigation for this block and connect them with a manifold pipe. You could use the fine manifold using add lines, but I use the command under the pipes tab, add single to add the manifold pipe. Make sure your selection is manifold. Use the same pipe type as for block 1. The diameter is not important now. Add the pipe between the valve and fitting. Use extend laterals to connect the laterals to the manifold. Confirm yes. Choose the connection fitting, like a grommet. I use add single to connect any pipes that were not connected to the manifold with the previous step. Note that we connect to a figure 8 fitting at the end of those lines and not a grommet. If you want it to be a grommet, you will need to edit those nodes. I delete the node I used to connect the manifold initially, we do not need it. Then we do the global. If you get a yellow message, check the flow path to see where there are connection problems or extra nodes. Our block does not have any problems, proceed to design and calculate. The same as with block 1, size pipe. Set your limits for the sizing of the pipes and size both the laterals and the manifold in one step by selecting the AND lateral stick. You can see this is not a good placement of the manifold and the laterals are too long. I think the only way to fix this would be to place the manifold at a different position. Let's ignore the bad design for now. Notice the difference between the micro drip and the sprinkler design on the display. Each micro is displayed on the line, where on the micro drip design of block 1, only the line display.
The advantage of using MicroDrip would be faster graphics while you work, especially if it's a large project. In most cases you would not want to see each micro or drip sprinkler. Set your display of the various blocks the way you want with any of the different display selections available. We have two blocks and we will now connect them to the mainline block zero. Use nodes add single to add a pump. The specific pump is not important now. We only use it as an indicator to connect the pipes. Erimaker will give you the duty point of the design and based on that you can choose your pump from the supplier's pump curves. We add some pipe fitting nodes at all the bend points that we can route our main line between the blocks. Then we start to connect the mainline pipes, choose your pipe type and make sure you select mainline. A pipe can only be added between nodes. Build and connect your system like you would do it in the field. You have a shift tab to allocate the different blocks to run in different shifts. Double click to add a block to a shift. With block zero active, select zoom to display the main line on the screen. Then check the flow path. Size the main line with global design and calculate. Size pipes. Use the calculate proposed pump pressure to have an indication of the pump pressure. The flow speed will determine the sizing of the pipe diameters based on each shift. Use the proposed to update the current size to the new sizes. This will change the original pipe diameters that you added on the design. Back to results calculate flow and change the pressure to get enough pressure at all your block valves. Notice the pressure is lower than the calculated pressure. This pressure is after the pump room at the start of the main line. Now you have a true view of the system curve. I run a report of the selected blocks and include the main line. Again, you can use this to copy and paste or print. The print to PDF gives you some more options. The block legend gives you an indication of the design status of your blocks. We will now look at printing our design and where you can change settings for the print results. Defaults and checks. Defaults and plot. Various selections and parameters can be set here for the plot. With paper size I choose my printer and paper size. Use new paper to add your paper window on the drawing. Page up and down rotates the paper window. Change the scale before you put down the paper window. I just confirm my snap mode is free. 
Place the paper window and turn on your paper display on top if the paper window disappears. Output the fine plotter and print the paper window 1. For illustration I only show the preview. Last I save the file as a .mol file, file save all. Mol file setup and choose to include the irrigation data and database files in your file. Select OK and save. That's it for this video. Please make sure to like and subscribe and remember to hit the bell icon to get notified as soon as we upload new content.